Um, do you think Boruto will get the Jogon in the next few chapters? If so, compare his power to Kawaki after gaining it. Mm. Um, it depends. If this was, like, I know we were debating on like when, when the skip thing is, but let's just say hypothetically, next chapter was the three or five skip that no, I don't think he has the next chapter. But if it's like, I don't think it will be, to be honest, then I do think he should awaken the joke before part one ends. Uh, I, I mean, I think that in the next few chapters, probably not. I do think that he is going to activate it pretty soon. Um, I know, Kamui, you haven't watched the, the end of the end of part one, but the end of part one, they did show both of their dojutsus side by side with the Jogan and whatever Kawaki's dojutsus. Called. He like, um, was it like an, um, you can just tell me, was it like Fort? Do you know how like in the new AR, Boruto was like in the show to being a Jogan unconsciously? Like, was it like that? Or was no, it just they like, just uh, was like, they was like, no, they just activated it like their like their dojutsus like automatically. Like Boruto just activated it. Like it didn't seem like it popped up or anything. It just he just activated his Jogan. So like, um, it's been hint. I mean, that's a that's a huge hint in my opinion. I don't think that the anime would take it to the extent of showing the Jogan and uh, Kawaki's dojutsu. I don't know what it's called, so I'm not going to give it a name. Side by side, and not introduce it into the manga later on. Uh, I don't That's think... what I'm saying. Like, it has to be. Dude. They've got yeah, a good story yeah. to me. It's in I... the manga at some point. Like... Yeah, I don't... The next three chapters is probably a little far-fetched, but I do see it happening sometime soon. Uh, maybe, like, the next five, six chapters. Maybe, like, it probably in the next year, we'll see the Jogan. And he does need the Jogan, because he has to... He has to match up to Kawaki in some type of way. At this point, Kawaki is above Boruto as far as strength goes, hacks goes. Uh, he had, well, did basically the hacks like we was talking about with Kakashi. Kakashi, he was a better ninja and a better fighter because of his hacks abilities. And Boruto currently really doesn't have any, any hacks abilities when it comes to just using Momoshiki's powers. So he needs um, something else to pretty much bridge that gap between him and Kawaki. And his Jogan activating would be that um, component that actually bridges that gap because the Jogan, we've seen a couple of the hacks abilities that it had as far as him being able to see uh, people coming from dimensions before the dimension is open and just like things of that nature. Maybe he'll be able to see his um, his chakra rods faster than he was able to see it before or like who knows what he'll be able to do with the jogan i don't know what abilities that the jogan possesses but i do think that's the catalyst for him to actually get to kawaki level yeah because it's gonna like parallel kawaki's eye like yeah. it's gonna mirror it yeah I, I really believe that too yeah, well, yeah i don't know what time but <laughs> so when like well, no, everything will appear, and if so, will it match up with Kawaki's power? Well, if it does appear, then yeah, it's definitely gonna like at least help even the gap yeah. that he has. It, it would probably put him like around, like maybe like you know, like Naruto versus Sasuke. Like Sasuke ultimately wins at the Valley of the End. Like mm -hmm. they can still do something like that, but like the point is, they would be about even probably. Yeah, the question yeah, is well, when does mm -hmm. he pop it up? Yeah, true. So, uh, in, in my personal opinion, yeah, I think it's definitely possible that it pops up in the next couple of chapters, but I think that having it pop or having him actually, you know, fully activate and fully, like, get get it to be in his eye permanently, well, not permanently, but, like, be a regular thing, I think a, a, an actual battle would probably be a lot more beneficial for Boruto to unlock it then. I think if it happens in an actual battle, first things first, significantly more entertaining, but also it kind of yeah. puts more pressure on Boruto and it kind of shows us him actually trying to use it during battle because we haven't necessarily seen that a lot. We've seen him use it during battle with Urushiki Otsutsuki. We've seen him use it during battle with the with the Nue, but in both instances it wasn't necessarily like a fair one, like like a fair 1v1 so we can actually analyze all the abilities of the Jogan. Of course we had during the, the Urushiki thing, Urushiki himself wasn't even truly trying to kill Boruto, uh, what's it called? Um, Shinki was involved during the new way. A bunch of people were involved. So, a bunch of stuff. So, I think him do using it in an actual battle would definitely be, or unlocking the actual battle would definitely be a very good thing. So, we can actually analyze specifically how good he is with it, but also what it can actually do. How strong is Boruto going to be? To be honest, I think once he unlocks the Jogan, he's probably going to be stronger than Kawaki. And I think that this right here is probably going to be what kind of keeps Boruto alive 
hypothetically, I think that if he does unlock the Jogan, it will probably allow or it'll probably give Kawaki the idea that he can't necessarily attack Boruto and he can't really go after Boruto, which would then kind of like delay the Kawaki versus Boruto battle a lot longer into the time skip. So I think that would be a very good thing. But I, as far as some of the things that the Jogan is probably going to give Boruto, I, I've always thought that it could probably just be like a counter to some of the hacks that Kawaki is going to have. I think that Kawaki is probably always going to have a bigger bag than Boruto. He's probably going to have more Jutsus. He's probably going to have like more hacks and stuff like that. But one of the biggest things that the Jogan can actually give Boruto is the ability to actually combat Kawaki um, going from dimension to dimension. Now, this right here isn't necessarily like any like, like I, I like I'd say core things from from Kawaki, but in my personal opinion, the Daikoku Tennis Akuna Hikona that might be like a direct counter to that. Like for example, like he stores things in the in the time space where where like things where where time doesn't flow, but there's a bunch of things in that dimension. Boruto with his Jogun potentially has the ability to see in that dimension. Yeah, that's what I was so saying. that could be like a direct counter to yeah, to Kawaki. Above him, mm. he can see. Where it comes out, kind of thing. That yeah, was, exactly. That was, I think that like the, what we saw um, him using a Jogan before. That's like, if I can put it in words, like a premature Jogan, in a way. Like he really like over time, you see him unlocking different abilities. Like in the New Way arc, he uses Jogan. I forget what the hell he did in the New Way arc. It's been so well, long. He's the, dude, he's done well, so he, many he, different things. He's seen well, yeah. like a negative intent. He saw like a chakra pathway system. Yeah, there similar you go. To yeah, 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 yeah. He was able to travel dimensions. That's why he thought he had to be Yakugan. He could see his friends in another dimension, just like the Senrigan. Um, he had lightning see, style pop out as Jogan. Huh? He had lightning, he style, had lightning pop style pop out as Jogan. Oh, yeah. Teleport a whole new way. Like, <laughs> yeah, he was doing insane. He was just throwing us shit left and right. It gets ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, so I think, like, once he masters his Jogan, like, he's going to have some insane abilities. So I do see it being up, like, in the upper echelon. Because, it, like, man, it, it's no reason for them to keep on delaying the appearance of this um, Dojutsu in the manga if they don't have yeah, a special I, plan for it. You know? I, I, I don't think so. The thing is, I, the thing that, well, the reason why I believe they don't necessarily have board to get it now is because it might make him way too powerful. That's what I I'm think saying. one of the best, yeah, I think one of the, yeah, obviously, definitely. I think one of the best things that the ability is probably going to give board to is probably going to be speed and strength. And that right there, in my personal opinion, is probably going to be what puts him above a character like Kawaki. So in the future you feel me we're probably gonna get to see that but as for right now if boruto did have the jogan i don't necessarily think that code would be much of like a, a threat i don't necessarily think that probably yo if i'm being a thousand i think that he might actually give damon a run for his money with his jogan i think yeah, he might i think so i don't know if he'll give him a um a, a power boost though as far as strength and speed because he's activated like, it before so. and you didn't see any like seen... increase in his strength and speed with Momoshiki. He reacted like it, well, he, he, not, like he not only reacted. Gun. That could be like the Sharing Gun, though. He predicts a movement and dodges. Like you know, I mean, yes, it means he was able to react is uh, oddly impressive. Yeah, but it doesn't mean it necessarily sped him up. It could have just been like a, a reflex type of thing. No, it definitely could have been. But uh, in my personal opinion. I don't necessarily think that Boruto does any of that without the Jogan. And just that, just that in itself, I think that it increases Boruto's Taijutsu ability to where he can actually compete with the character like Kawaki. I think as of right now, hypothetically, if Momoshiki were to actually take over Boruto's body, he could actually fight with Kawaki. I think that would be a relatively easy battle. Or no, not, not easy, relatively even battle. But Boruto alone can't do that with Kawaki. I think the Jogan puts him possibly on that level or possibly even above not necessarily saying that it just makes him like significantly fast or, or significantly faster or stronger it just gives him that extra taijutsu uh edge that of course kawaki loves to use and i think that could possibly come in handy with some daikoku and sukuna ikon that he'd be doing with the rod you know when it comes to like the jogan stuff i agree with bar i i think the jogan is going to be the thing that puts him over kawaki mm. because if you like, if you just look at like their power or whatever, mm -hmm. they're pretty much relative when Momo's in control. Um, they're they're pretty much relative, but Momo's not doing anything except right. what using what Boruto has. Like he's not using Rinnegan, mm. he's not using any of Kinshiki's abilities or nothing he demonstrated 
while right. fused. And we know he has the Rinnegan because he used it to heal Boruto mm. um, with the karma. So if, if Kawaki's pulling out all the stops and Momo isn't, then that pretty much kind of speaks some, it, it tells me a lot, basically. Right. That I, I think it's going to be like the Naruto to a Sasuke to where Naruto was clearly stronger than Sasuke at the right. end of Putin. And he was mentally nerfed or holding back or whatever you want to say until like mm. the last bit of it. And I think that's going to be the case for Bored. So I think he's going to clearly be more powerful than Kawaki. And once the Jogan manifests, I think that Jogan is going to be for a Shibai or an Otsutsuki god or something right. that's going to put him into a different stratosphere. Yeah. And that could be some potential like Otsutsuki god art or they have to battle Shibai in some kind of different realm or dimension. Don't get your hopes or up. Even... <laughs> that's, that's, that's been my whole run with the board so series bro. getting my hopes up or even even taking advantage of that little mental mind space that they always seem to go into and mm -hmm. maybe the battles would be less physical and more on the mental plane mm -hmm. so where they can astral project or learn some way to do that I think that could be pretty interesting but we'll have to see either way yeah, true